So a huge field then for this classic chase at Warwick over three miles and five furlongs. Let's take a look at them. It's a class two handicap and it's right on David Robertson. Bang Bang K Minahan. Yesterday Sands, Lee Thompson, John the Baptist, Paul Rhodes, Blowing in the Wind, Leon Van Rensburg, Chris Cross, G Clutterbuck. Live in Las Vegas, Joshua Sutherland, Rumble Down Lad, Jay Murray, Biotech, Stallion, Molliette Surfer, Oscar, Paul Fisk, Cracker Smile, Alan McDonald, Escrow Agent, M. Cairns, Aliette the Picton, D. French, Baylor Money, Darren Howes, Racing with Angels, Derek Hinton, Silver Horse and McCormick's Face, C. Clark, Bodenham, J. Follis, 16 Hesitant, J. Shea, Zalier, Thunderspark, Dan Sydney, Blue S. Grey, Amazing Blue Sky, P. Cahill, Hart Sovereign, Obi Wan, West Tip, Matty McLean, and Antoella. Charlie, they're away and racing then from the shadow of the post. Uh, just a little over two circuits of this Warwick track to take. And West Tip, who led the Welsh National Field for a long way last week, looks like he's going to try and do the same again today. And uh, he's just in front of Escrow Agent and blowing in the wind as they cross the little track there. The inside of the track, you can see there where that um, ambulance was. There used to be a big stand there many years ago. It's now completely taken down and gone. And you can only view from one side of the track these days. So West Tip is the leader from Antoella in second and blowing in the wind third. Escrow Agent four and 16 Hesitant and Oscar. And then a gap back to the rest who are just headed by the grey Zalair with John the Baptist up the inside. It's a fairly long run to the first of the 20 fences and they're up there now. And West Tip takes it in front from a good jump in second from 16 Hesitant. Blowing in the wind is going well in third and that's flanked by the two in the pale colours, Antoella and Escrow Agent. Oscar is just behind them. And then comes John the Baptist and Criss Cross and Zalair. The pink colours on the inside is Racing with Angels. The turquoise and purple is right on. And then the grey on the outside of that one is Silver Horsey McHorseface with Criss Cross in the red just closest to us. But West Tip's got a lead of about four lengths now as they race down towards the back straight. And there's Defences to take down the back here. It's a really stiff jump in track. Auric, and this will take some getting round. And West Tip gave that a lot of air. Big, big jump. Also, a big jump by Zalair towards the back. And quite a few gave that fence quite a bit of respect. And West Tip is the leader from 16 hesitant second and blowing in the wind is third. They're already at fence number three. And they take that one. And they're all safely over that one, with the exception of Half Sovereign. Half Sovereign was a faller on the inside. So, one out already then. And West Tip it is in front. 16 hesitants just moved into second in the green colours. The one on the rail is escrow agent as they take fence number four. And the remaining runners are all still standing. Just lost the one so far. That's half sovereign. But West Tip is in a pretty strong pace again as they take fence number five. It's pretty much the same tactics as West Tip tried last week in the Welsh National at Chipstow. It didn't quite pay off for him, but did set up a tremendous finish. Um, be the same one up again today. Uh, West, Tip will, West Tip's connections will be hoping that that one stays a little bit closer to the front though. And then all over fence number six. And West Tip it is that still leads from 16 hesitant and escrow agent together. Then comes blowing in the wind and Antoella has moved up nicely. Oscar's after that one and John the Baptist and then rumble down a lad. Racing with Angels and Criss Cross next. And then right on and Zalair. Uh, Silver Horsey McHorse faces close up as well. As well as Cracker Smile, they got the uh, three greys together there as they jump that uh, fence number seven. So, they sit away then now towards the next of the 20 fences and it's still West Tip in front from Escrow Agent second. 16 Hesitant is third as they take that one. Uh, they're also safely over that one as well. The field trailing back to Dun City Blue towards the back. So a racing there towards the Straight again, and over the next, that's fence number nine. And they're all safely over that one. And you can see them from the stand again now. And they've passed the furlong pole there, as West Tip takes what will be the last time on the next circuit. And all safely over that one. And as they come past the stands, let's take a look at where everybody is. It's West Tip in the lead then, from blowing in the wind second. Then Escrow Agent is third, and 16 hesitant four. And so well as five, and then John the Baptist six. Rumble Down Lad is in seventh. Then comes Racing with Angels 8th and Zalair is 9th. Silver Horse and horse face is behind that one. Then comes Criss Cross and right on. Oscar and Cracker Smile are next. Then leaving Las Vegas. Baylor Money is after that one. And then comes Yesterday's Sands. Bang Bang is next. And then Bodenham and Aliette the Pictons. 
uh, Amazing Blue Sky and finally Biotech Stallion as Dan City Blue has been pulled up as they go out onto the second circuit and I think Biotech Stallion is going to pull up as well there so we've lost three now then and West Tip still sets the pace from blowing in the wind second and escrow agent third 16 hesitant is still going well in fourth Rumble down lads got a lot closer on the outside of the grey Zalair. And Zalair jumped that one really well and jumped right up into uh, into fourth place there. But it's West Tip in front. West Tip from blowing in the wind. And escrow agent Zalair and 16 hesitant. Rumble down lad is on the outside of Chris Cross. And John the Baptist is on the inside. Right on and Antoella follow that one. And then uh, racing with angels in the in the pink. Silver horse McHorseface on the outside of that one. And the grey nearest to us is Cracker Smile, although Silver Puzzle and Horse Face is there, just switch that one's outside. So West Tippet is then, and they've quickly got themselves to a situation where there's only just over nine furlongs to race, and West Tip still sets the pace from blowing in the wind second, Escrow Agent third, Zalair has made a mistake at that one after moving up well before that, and um, that's just lost a little bit of impetus there, but now being driven back up by the jockey again to go alongside 16 hesitant as they take fence number 13. A better jump that time by Zalair. One or two slow jumps in rear, especially Bodenham, who's dropped back to last now off the um, main body of the field. So it's West Tip. West Tip who's in the lead then still from blowing agent and uh, blowing in the wind, sorry, an escrow agent and then Zalair as they take fence number 14. And Zalair jumped up well again there into second place. Those two in similar colours, but Zalair's the grey. West Tip is in the black cap in the lead. So West Tip now being challenged by Zalair as they take fence 15. And they stream over that one nicely. And Zalair on the outside of West Tip. Escrow agent is third and blowing in the winds fourth. Right on has been going nicely. John the Baptist is and quietly creeping closer. And so too as Chris Cross on the outside. Rumble down lad still there as they take fence number 16. They've got four left to jump. Four more fences to take then. And this is where it starts to get serious. It's Zalair in the lead now as West Tip comes under pressure. Blowing in the wind and leaving Las Vegas the next. Escrow agent John the Baptist, but they're bunching up at the front now. And Zalair has made a kick for home. It's a good track for a front runner this at this point. If you kick on around this sort of point, you can slip the field quite easily. But leaving Las Vegas is, is chasing at the moment. Zalair is over the fourth last clear. Leaving Las Vegas is second. These two have just pulled away a little bit from blowing in the wind and right on. Baylor Money is making some ground on the outside. John the Baptist is still there as well. They race down there to the third last. And now leaving Las Vegas jumps into the lead. The one that's coming out of the pack really well is right on. Zalair is still there challenging though. Two to jump. Just under two furlongs to race. And Zalair is coming back at leaving Las Vegas now. With right on in third. Over the second last. And it's just Zalair on the inside. Zalair getting the, getting the better of leaving Las Vegas now. But the big challenger is right on on the outside. John the Baptist is still running on him fourth. They've got one more to jump. They come up to it now. And over it they go. And Zalair is in the lead we lost one at the back there but it's Zalair who's just in the lead now here comes John the Baptist John the Baptist they race up towards the line John the Baptist and Zalair this is going to be a close one and also finishing on the outside is blowing in the wind and a three flash past the post together I think blowing in the wind may have got up on the line it's a close one we'll go to the judge for that one I think as we see them come past the line Zalair looked like she'd won it at one point so did John the Baptist and then so on the outside did blowing in the wind and blowing in the wind has got up by the shortest of heads ahead from Zalair in second so blowing in the wind for Leon van Regsburg wins it Zalair is second John the Baptist is third and right on was fourth